Okay, YouTubers, here's what I got. Trolling motors. I've tried these here 18650 lithium-ion lithium ion cells in a boat motor trolling pack. They work absolutely fabulous. But in my testing, I could only find there was a very lack of inf information. It was very vague. On YouTube, they had a guy with a uh, trolling motor. He was actually running in his pool to see well testing in his packs. But he ran a three-string. Uh, he ran a three-string pack that was 4.2 volts times three strings is 12.6 volts. The nominal voltage is 3.8 volts times three strings is 11.4. Full discharge is nine volts. I've tested that. Worked and ran great. The problem is the Minn Kota motor kicks out at 10 volts. Therefore, there's voltage left in there that you can't use. So, the secondary testing I went to was this. As the information, again, is limited out there, it's vague, you can't find it. So, this is what I found. I went to a four string pack and full charge was 4.2 volts times four strings equals 16.8 volts at full charge. 3.8 volt times four string for nominal voltage is 15.2 volts nominal voltage. Full discharge is 12 volts. Okay, with that said, I've tested that as well. Works very well. I know what you're thinking. 16.8 volts is too much for a uh, trolling motor. Well, I've used this Minn Kota 50 pound thrust motor. It worked fabulous. I could put it on 50 pounds, full throttle on this battery pack, built off of 80 cells, four strings. It works great. There's 20 cells here, they're positive up. 20 cells here, negative up. 20 cells here, positive up, negative. 20 cells here, negative up. So with that said, there's 80 cells. The packs are wired in four strings, and the, it's wired in parallel series. Now, this, in my testing, worked and worked fabulous. I've got, out of rejuvenated cells, these are anywhere from 900 amp hour to 4, 1500 amp hour. So, as you can see, I'm building the DIY Tesla power wall here. These are the prime cells. They're going into the power wall. Uh, i got one string of seven here and four uh, packs here, waiting for three more to be complete, and then I'll solder them together, and I'll have... Well, the remaining uh, 10 kilowatt system in circulation. However, with that said, these degenerated cells, I didn't know what to do with them. I didn't want to buy a battery pack or a flooded lead acid battery for my Minn Kota boat motor if I could run these. In my testing, I seen how well these worked. And with the deju dejuvenated cells that were not good enough to circulate into the power wall, here's my tests, results, and findings. 900 to 1500 milliamp hour, absolutely fabulous. Put them on the Minn Kota. These run for approximately two hours on high speed of the 50 pound thrust. Two hours straight, round around the circles, just in testing or around the lake until I found out how long they worked. So the black electrical tape package is the final result. There's different leads on it. These two leads here go to the BMS, the battery management system. These two leads here are directly to the terminal. The reason that is, is because this BMS that's here is, works great. You're playing with fire if you're playing with these, by the way, so be sure to be safe, and that's why this uh, BMS battery management system's in there. If I hook these up to these IMAX B6s, they're a clone, by the way, but they work fabulous to charge it. If I hook uh, this BMS up to the charger and charge it, they will charge it with a balanced charge, so that's of high interest, and you want to balance charge it up to its voltage of top charge of 16.8 volts. When you pull the trigger on that motor, you're going to be see that the voltage is going to drop, and it's going to drop quick, and it, it takes it and has no issue with it. Again, it runs two hours, no problems. Very lightweight. There's really nothing to it if you're going in the backwoods and stuff. There's very little information out there about it. This is my test findings, and I think you're going to see these batteries, in my opinion, will outperform anything you're going to put against them. Not only will they outperform them, they're lightweight and you can carry them around. And the easy way to eliminate from paddling back to shore, guys, is have two of them. Connecting this will work if you have 30 pounds or less. Connecting this will work at all 50 pounds of thrust. That's why there's two different connectors. So these are direct to the battery terminals. These go through the BMS. Now, my advice is if you're going to buy one, in my testing, I bought a 30 uh, amp. BMS. If that was a 50 amp, I wouldn't need 
these second two leads. I would just run everything through the BMS for both the charge and the discharge. So, in my testing, I had to put these on because they only had 30 amp uh, power through the BMS, meaning I had to get the full 50, I had to put the secondary connections into the positive and negative directly. So, the BMS installed solves all them problems. The motor does work, works fabulous. Here's some more advice. That is an axial fast flow 3 amp fuse. These are circulated into the tops of every one of these cells on one side only. 80 cells, there's 80 of them actual 3 amp fast flow fuses. Just take the danger out of them guys, you know you're playing with uh, lithium ion and there could be issues. So, this, this is episode 1, which I'll show you what my test findings are. Episode 2 will be how I build the packs. Now there you can see the pack, I'm going to go into detail as how I build it. And if you're interested as a DIY lithium ion 18650 laptop recirculated batteries, as I have here, and they're not good enough to go into my power wall. Can you imagine this pack running two hours, averaged out to be 1,200 milliamp hour batteries, how much more power you'd get out of them if they were double that, meaning these cells right here. 2,000 milliamp hour cells and above. So that would tell me you're going to get four hours on the 50 amp Minn Kota motor thrust. So with that said, if you're going to run that, that way, keep in mind that this batteries in my rejuvenated testing, where I didn't want to discard them, I didn't know what to do with them, the information ain't out there, now you have it because I've tested it. And finally, you're going to need chargers on the top, you'll see, and dischargers, the four on the bottom are dischargers. So with that said, they're all uh, Alito Cala, they're low end, cost uh, very inexpensive uh, to use, and they'll find out all the information you need to know, and basically you'll do a charge on the battery, then you'll do a discharge on the battery, write down the milliamp hours on them, record it, and only use the best ones. You just can't chuck or circulate any batteries in there. They do take some uh, work, and they come out of laptops, and here's uh, some of the carcasses of what they came from. And they're just uh, the shell that held the cells. You bust them open. Uh, Lithium-ion 18650s, is renowned for uh, a lot of power. If Tesla can build a car and make it the fastest car in the world, fuelless, runs off batteries, that's what these are. There's 6,000 of these cells in them cars. So, in my testing, findings one, them are my results. In findings two, I'll show you how to build the pack if you're interested, DIY. Uh, we'll call this a, a motor pack for electric motors, and if you use the higher end cells, you're going to see not only are they lightweight, and they're well more performance. And Video 3, of course, will show you the testing. So, hope that helps YouTube. If uh, For those that are looking for a good trolling motor battery pack, hey, by the way, you could use these here for uh, refrigerant, uh, maybe uh, Peltier coolers. Uh, we also use uh, other packs that we've uh, incorporated into our Striker 4 fish finder, and it'll actually go for days, but we didn't use these large packs. We've made uh, smaller packs that are uh, a lot a lot smaller than them, but they are uh, incorporated into a 20 uh, cell pack, and they, they are absolutely fabulous. Again, they too are uh, degenerated cells, but to buy these new is shocking. In my testings, this is my findings, video one. Hope this helps you too.